Hi guys, I'm back. And I have most of the colors mixed up, but I want to do one more color just to show how easy it is. I thought I'd mix in a little bit of dark blue. So what we do is Always shake the bottles, like I told you, always shaking. Put in a little bit of blue, then the new stuff, so it's 50-50. And just stir it up a little, and that's all there is to do. So doing this, mixing up these uh, Vallejo, the uh, fluid acrylics, this is like uh, five minutes and you're ready. Of course, I'm going to add a couple of drops of uh, dimethicone. One, two, three. Just like that. Stir it in and we're ready to pour. So, um, another thing about the uh, Vallejo, the fluid acrylics, uh, this is a little bit dirty, but don't get confused when you try to find this online. It's only, they only come in 100 milliliters. If you're buying something else, you're not buying the Fluid uh, Artist acrylics. This is really the artist stuff. It's high quality, full of pigments, but you have to watch out. You have to get the 100 milliliters or you're getting something totally different. Because the Vallejo factory they make a lot of paint, and I'm talking a lot of different types of paint. And this one only comes in 100 milliliters, because I've had people mail me saying, oh, I bought them online and they were much cheaper, but they were totally different paints. And they were smaller, like 60 milliliters or 30, and that's totally something different. So you got to watch out. Now, um, I'm going to put these colors together. I'm going to start off with the light one. This is the Titan Buff. And I'm going to add that beautiful dark brown burnt sienna. Then I'm going to put in the teal. Then I'm going to put in the orange. And as you can see, it's reacting totally different than the uh, Windsor & Newton paint because, well, it just does. So another color on top. More of the brown kind of like that and we're going to take the canvas put it on top and turn it over pull it apart so that's what we're going to do and there we already see the first little cells popping up oh I like those big cells but we have to of course we have to Make sure it's totally covered. I like that. <laughs> Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, too bad I have to pour that off. Look at that. That is kind of cool. Okay, bye-bye. Now, that is pretty. I really like those. Those are so... I've never had those before. Now I'm going to torch it. Oh boy. Look at that, look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. That is so unreal. I just, you know, barely touch it with the uh, torch and it goes all over the place. Look at it. I'm going to torch that too. And this one. Look at that. Just just touching it just a little bit. Look at it go. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Well, we certainly have a winner. That is a winner. Look at that. That is so full of cells. That is unreal. I want to make them a little bit bigger 
So I'm gonna let them go over a little bit. Ooh, we've gotta watch out that they don't go zigzaggy. I think I'll keep it like this. Ooh, no. Now you wanna watch out that it doesn't go all zigzaggy because I don't really like that. What I do have to do is cover up the corners a little bit. Just a little spot here and there. Wow, that is amazing too. Now this stuff is something else. Wow, I don't know what they put in it, but yeah, I get a little bit of um, uh, the uh, the canvas showing, but that's my own fault. Let's see, I've got a lot of hair in my face. Okay, got to get my little palette knife. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let's see if I have another one. Now, if you get that, like you see over here, there's no canvas showing. And uh, up here, you don't see any canvas. Uh, the only place that I got the canvas showing is down here. So, oh, and a little bit down here. So what I do is just scoop it up because I had a couple of questions about that. Um, asking me, you know, can you fill, fill that in with the drip off? Absolutely, you can do that. Just scoop up the color that you think fits and you just let it drip it down. And as you can see where I put it on, it's already gone. So sometimes you have to do that. And that's usually because the paint, you made it a little bit too thin. So some of these colors are, are thicker uh, than the other and, and some a little thinner, but that's no problem. If you have one of these little palette knives, you can fix it right up. Just a little bit more, letting it come down the side. There you go. That is beautiful over there. I really love that. I don't know how that happened, but I gotta be, uh, I'm gonna be experimenting a lot with this stuff. Oops. There we go. Just filling in a couple of little ones. And it's totally okay to do this. Wow, I only see one little air bubble. So this is gonna dry beautifully. Just one air bubble. Let me blow that one out. That's it. No air bubbles, nothing. So this is, uh, that is cool. Now I'm going to make sure, you gotta watch out because it, this, this will, um, let me get you in closer. This will, uh, you know, still pour off the canvas if I don't hold it level. And that is, the, that is beautiful there, up there. That is really pretty. I wish I could show you the side because that, that is really beautiful too. But look at all those cells. You know, and there's just no way to do this wrong. It's 50-50. 50% paint, 50% of this pouring medium, and this is what you get. So, um, well, you can... Uh, you know, say you don't like the colors, but you know, it's up to you what you want to mix. So uh, it's pretty uh, awesome. Now I need another piece of paper for the table. I'm gonna put this away and then I'm gonna try and see uh, what, the, what I can do with the rest. Because we want to have some some different things to look at. I really like the way it keeps those rings. I don't know if you call them rings, but I really like the way it keeps them. 
and if if you torch it then you get all the cells so let's torch it maybe i'll let it come down a little bit like that wow look at that Can you imagine just making a pendant out of this? That would be beautiful. Wow, look at that go. That is amazing. That is so amazing. I want to see what it does if I just pour it down. Oh, there, there it's breaking up, but that's, I think I, I torched that too long. But look at that. And then it just sells again. Look at that. That is so amazing. I've never had that happen before. Now I'm going to let it come down a little bit more. look at it it just starts again <clears throat> that is that is some some I don't know what they did don't know how they did it but it is something else look at that see those really fine hairlines all around it that is so cool okay gotta put this away Now let's do the same, but I want some more definition in it. So we'll put some more of that tight and buff in there, and then a little bit more of that dark, and only the turquoise. Give it a little swirl, let it come out. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, too bad I have to throw that off. But look at that. That is so real. So, wow. Now with this stuff, I think you have to really work on how you, uh, what you put in it and um, what you're using, the colors. I just want to do something else. I think I have enough swipes. <laughs> so, uh, oh no, enough uh, Yupos. So I want to do something else. Oh, look at that. Uh, I don't know what this is, but it is awesome. I have never, ever seen anything make cells as fast as this stuff. Look at it. That is amazing. Oh, look at those cells. Uh, I got to get my camera set up. I got to do macros because that there is something I have never seen before. That is so cool. Let me show you really up close. Let's see if I can get you really up close. Can you see those uh, cells with all those lines? Let's see. There, that one, there, and there. Man, this is beautiful. Now I'm going to check if um, if it it has the elasticity that I'm looking for. 
I have never seen anything more beautiful than this. And see how it's st stretching now because I'm letting it run down? And that's what you're looking for because you want something that stretches but doesn't break because I don't like when it breaks. Wow, look at it. That is so beautiful. I'm gonna get you in close. Can you see that? That is something else. It just added a little bit of cells right here and a little bit around here. That is pretty. Okay, just one more. Let's see, what color shall we do? We're going to do a little bit of blue. And the turquoise. Going to pop it on top. Then a little bit of that green. Going to fold it together. And roll it a little bit, roll it back. Yeah, but I want to do something. Let's see. Is that clean? Yes, it is. Want to see what happens, you know, when you put them. That's kind of nice. But I want to do something else. Look at that. It's just selling up just all by itself. Oh, I think, you know, in the right hands, this stuff has so many possibilities. It might even, you know, be beautiful just without cells because it holds those uh, colors really well. But me being a cell person, I'm gonna look at that. That is unreal. I've never seen anything sell as fast as this. Manipulate it just a little bit. Let's see. Wow. This is just like a butterfly wing, something like that. That is so pretty. Just want a little bit more over here. Okay. I think I want to fill this one. see what we can do. Man, look at that. That is unreal. Unreal. I've never seen anything do this. This is uh, 
totally, totally awesome. Come back in with a little bit more blue. Now I have it totally covered, but I lost a lot of these cells because of uh, my dinking around. Oh, that is even pretty. Look at that. Okay, let me just get a little of this excess paint off. As you can see in the middle, it just sells back up again. And, um, if, if you are doing this and you still, oh, see, there is a little skin because I torched it too much. That's, I've been torching that like three or four times. But if you just swipe it, it will just sell up again. I'm pretty sure. Look at that. Man, this has a lot of possibilities. This is pretty, look out. I'll show you the, oops, oh, there you go. Look at that. Okay, putting this one away. I think one more, <clears throat> just one more. And this time I'm going to use the uh, the really bright orange, a little bit of green in there, and a little bit of that Titan buff, smack in the middle. I want to see how uh, how it behaves. You know, if you just put them like a tree pour thing. And turning it around. And letting it go up and down and all over the place. Maybe a little bit too much of that turquoise going around there. Okay. Now let it come down. Now let's see. See how the outlines stay so sharp? I kind of like that. That is totally wacky. Oop. Almost dropped it there. Just a little bit off. The only thing that you have to watch out for is that you don't have a really big fat layer of paint because then somehow um, it sort of puts a break on the cells. But if it's really nice and thin, you get so many cells, it's unreal. I'll just keep this one. Now I'm still looking at the other ones. This is the one I just did before. Let me get you in close. Look at that. I still haven't lost any definition in the cells, so that's good.
and I'm pretty sure it's going to dry like that too. But you know, just to be on the safe side, we'll uh, we'll just watch what it does. Let's do some something with this. See how this sells. Let me see if I can get you in close. There you go. I know it's muddy, but you can still see how good it sells. Look at that. That alone is pretty. I just love those. Uh... <laughs> that is a lot of cells. I got hair in my mouth and I can't take it out. <laughs> my little blue stick my blue stick is gone so let's just do this gotta throw this away anyway so I am I am so sure I could do something other than cells with this stuff because it's giving me something, I don't know, it was kind of cool, cool stuff. Yeah, this is the bomb. This is it. This is so unreal. I'm going to be playing a lot with this stuff. And I love that. You know, if you're looking for a beautiful background and you put all these colors together, no matter if they almost border muddy like this stuff is, but uh, it is just so beautiful. I'm going to get you down. I want to get you really close up. Sorry if you're getting seasick. Let's see, where's that really beautiful part? There it is. Could help if it went in focus, look at that. You know, just in the muddy paint, look at that. Yeah, it's really, really, really funny how this stuff works. Beautiful. Okay guys, gotta clean up this big mess I made. I will um, post this one and tomorrow we'll have some more fun with this new medium. So love you all to pieces. Have a beautiful evening. Liebe euch alle. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.